A lot of preparation went into the planning of YPC 18 to 18. All round there was great excitement from the new apostolic young people in Southern Africa about this once in a lifetime event. NAC TV caught up with the young people from Gauteng. NAC TV viewers, the day has finally arrived. After months and months of preparation, the young people here in the Gauteng region are ready to embark on their long-awaited journey. And we managed to catch up with them just before the trip to find out their thoughts. So you on your way to Cape Town in this huge bus. Can you please tell us what are your thoughts? I'm so excited because it will be, it's going to be my first time to be in Cape Town. And I'm expecting more things that I've never seen in my life. The sea, the chief apostle, and the youth are going to perform. That's what I'm looking for. I'm feeling much excited. Just since I heard that there will be a convention in Cape Town, a youth convention, I was like, wow. And I'm very much excited. I'm looking forward to hear more, to, to enjoy, uh, to, to hear more from the, the chief apostle and to be uplifted. So it's like, uh, I'm much happy, very much happy. NAC TV viewers, the excitement is at a fever pitch as the young people get ready to board the bus for their long trip to Cape Town for YPC 18 to 18. Now this, I would say, is an ideal way to kick off an awesome weekend with our chief apostle. YPC 18 to 18! People from Greater Cape Town were looking forward to meeting their fellow brothers and sisters. They were excited to get to know them and to make lifelong friendships. TV viewers, we are here at the Welcome Center at Cape Town International Airport. We at North Pine Congregation. We are outside Silvertown Auditorium. Thank you for joining us here in Tafelsa. Welcome to Para West Welcome Center. Here in Cape Town, we open our hearts and arms to welcome up our young people. Everyone is amped up, everyone is ready for the weekend ahead. Let's hear what they have to say. What did you do when you first arrived in Cape Town? Yeah, I was so surprised because when we arrived here, they first take us to the beach. It was my first time going to the beach, so it was so excited. How are you feeling about the young people who have just arrived? I'm tremendously excited and that excitement comes from their excitement. If you look at the group and I've interacted with some of them, there's such an, uh, an air of expectation. They've been waiting for this, we've been planning for this for a very long time and now it's here and we everything's uh, everything is, is on the go. Shemane, I see you've just landed in Cape Town. How are you feeling? I feel so wonderful. It's so amazing being here and I'm very excited for this weekend. We spoke to the young people about their travels. Can you tell me about your journey to Cape Town? You, the journey was very long. I had to stay up 2 o'clock to be here by 3 o'clock, but it was nice. The bus trip was long but exciting. I made lots of friends and slept a lot. It was so long. I never did to come here. We left Bloemfontein last night or this morning at 2. We came here at 4 in Cape Town. It was very exciting. It seems as it is too far to be here. Yes. But we're thankful that we're here. We're so excited. We're looking forward. It was like a lot of years. 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 It was, it was really, it was, it was fun. And we had a lot to talk about. So it was a long journey, but at least we enjoyed it. It was really tiring. It was long. Like, we, uh, we wake up like, Two o'clock in the morning, and we, we drove like three, five o'clock, and we came here like five o'clock in the now this afternoon. We left one o'clock in the morning, but if you can look at the time we came back, we came now seven o'clock. So the time where the trip was, how can I say eight percent? <laughs> The young people
people were excited to receive their goodie bags for the convention. Have you got any expectations? If yes, what are they? I think from a spiritual point of view, I think it's absolutely inspiring for one young person to see that thousands and thousands of other young people also love Christ and follow Christ because I don't believe it's something we can just take for granted that you will always see so many around you sharing your faith. And then, well, I think uh, just from a social point of view, it, it's, it's fantastic. I think that the youth can meet so many others. I actually think there's just too little time. I don't know how you how you manage to meet um, another 20,000 people quickly in one afternoon or in one morning, but I think whatever is possible, they must make the best of, and I think they will. YPC 18 to 18 has been in the planning for nearly two years, and the young people had great expectations. What is your expectations of the NAWEK? Well, my expectations, Ik moet zeggen dat is een beetje bij, want uh, ik meen dat hij is die stamapostel wat voor ons aan het dienst geeft. So, ik verwacht bij je geestelijk, so, ik hoop alles verloopt goed af en ik ga bij je het om samen terug te gaan reizen, toch geestelijk nou. It's my first time in my life to experience the thing like this one, the conversion. It's my first time to fly. And it's my first time to recover the Cape Town, to eat in the Cape Town. So, it's triple excited because it's my first time to come and share the love of God in Cape Town. Um, lots of excitement, really. Lots, lots and lots of, lots of excitement. Um, uh, lifetime experiences while well, achieve a pastel. Something you don't get every day, so that's actually what I came for. Om hier in Navik te genieten en nieuwe mensen te ontmoet, ja, en nieuwe dingen te ervaren. Listening to all the items being played at the concert and the Chief Apostle, seeing the Chief Apostle. I'm very excited to see all the people, all my friends I'm going to meet and also the Chief Apostle. Uh, we're from Mpumalanga and we've got just on 800 young people driving in with buses and um, everybody's excited. Most of them never saw the Cape first time. It took a long preparation to get everything together and a lot of rush and a lot of nerves but now it's all come together and uh, Obviously, we look forward to everything, you know. I was really excited for the whole project that we're going to do. And I was really excited to see the deal to be to enjoy this function with some young people. To enjoy serving with God's people and the experience. Uh, this never happened before, especially us from Durban. Never happened before. And it's actually a wonderful experience and my heart is looking forward to it. I'm super amped for this weekend. I'm so excited, just got back from the stadium. Things are going crazy over there and it's just adding to the excitement that's happening over there. I'm quite excited to be part of it because the last one is in 2008 and I was only confirmed in 2011. So it will be a first time experience for me as well. I want it to be fun and I want to be under the word of the summer apostle John Luke Snyder. I want to feel the blessings of him. I didn't, I never see him in him live. This my, this is my first time, so I'm really excited to be there. I will try to make the same mark as by you. I want to be in the stadium to be in the money cup and to be in the smear stick here in the cup. To meet the chief apostle and to see, to have real singing and just be joyful. Looking forward to, to receive our blessings direct from the Chief Apostle. Just a lot of us as youth getting together and, you know, getting to know each other as new apostolics and, you know, being together in our faith. I'm just hoping to have fun and to see new people. We're looking forward for Sunday because that is the main thing to be on the service with the Apostle 
Yeah, we are very excited, very excited. Ik is baie opgewonnen, want ik was nog nooit in die KP en dit gaan een goed belevenis wees. Um, I expect to make a, like new friends and I expect to just become closer to God. Om een lekker tijd te Sieninge, eerstens en dan om die naam te geniet samen met die jong mensen en die dienst ook. Mijn verwachting is eigenlijk niet dat ik, zoals mijn huis family, zal leren kennen en dat ons een boy lekker kan je zal Beyond the word and sacrament and our church for pastor and then also for spiritual healing. Maybe to get answers to questions that I have been looking for answers for my whole life and then just to meet a whole lot of new cool people. I think that would also be great and then just to have lots of fun also, yes, and under a very spiritual experience. The NAC community opened their hearts and homes to the young people from outside of Cape Town and over 10,000 beds were made available. We spoke to some of the host families. What is your expectations for, for the weekend, not just at the stadium, but also at home with the, with the hosties or the young people? I expect it's going to be awesome. Um, we will make it fun for them. We will also make it a godly experience for them because we are going to be in a godly capacity at the stadium with our dear chief apostle. Gilda, as a host parent or host family, what does this weekend mean for you? Lots of excitement. Lots of excitement, a build-up of lots of excitement, many months of excitement. The preparation was so intense, all the meetings that we had to attend and the planning that, that goes with, with, with hosting and getting them on time. Tonight we've arranged a G2G um, for the youth visiting in our congregation. Um, we're going to do a foiki, play 30 seconds, a couple of board games, you know, show them what Cape Town is all about. I make a big preparation for Miles. I was very exciting for them. So I go to the mall, so I go buy two new duvets for them. And the room was painted out and, and oh, I make it exciting for them. And so I tell my son, you must give him a nice evening, make it a nice, give him a nice bride and make it exciting for them. And so there's another, there's three priests and they got also a, a, a guest and they come together so that they can make it exciting for them. The excitement is running high and only one more sleep before the big event at the Cape Town Stadium. The one thing I can, can tell you guys is this, this is an awesome experience. We woke up at two o'clock this morning and as I'm standing here I'm tired but being amongst people that has its spirit in them, my spirit inside of me is just alive. So I can't wait for Sunday. Flate, flate, May 28. It's been an amazing Friday evening. We look forward to a wonderful, most blessed weekend ahead with our Chief Apostle. Let's have a wonderful 18 to 18 YPC convention. Thank you for joining us. YPC 18 to 18. In the next YPC insert, we'll enjoy highlights of the Saturday activities.